Hello, my name is Phil Schering and I have an addiction. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy the real Philly Phil here and I do have to admit something to myself. I kind of got addicted to something a little while back in this week, and it's kind of the main reason why there wasn't a video video yesterday. And here's what it was. So, I have a little backstory here, so just bear with me for a second. So, I was checking out my PS4 a couple days back, and PlayStation decided to give me a free $10 on their account for free. I said that already, didn't I? Either way, they decided to give me a free $10, so I put that towards a month of the PS Plus subscription service. What is that entitled you to? Grand Theft Auto V Online. So, I started playing it, but then I started getting this whole thing called, well, I like to call it, uh, the gamer addiction. Where basically I was playing it into the wee hours of the morning. At one point I think I was playing up to like 5am. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a good thing, to be honest. But, yeah, I started to, to um developed this whole habit on staying up early and it, it showed because I messed up on some of my chores here in the house so my sister she uh, the brave person she is she gave me this whole little intervention thing she, she takes away my controllers every once in a while so that I don't overplay I think yeah to be honest I'm probably gonna limit myself for now on like maybe six to eight hours every day I had a little habit and that's kind of the reason why there was no video yesterday it kind of sucked and yeah. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on a more positive note. It's time for Two Truths and a Lie, where we talk about three of the biggest stories in tech right now. Two will be true, one will be lie. Yes, I know, my grammar's bad. <laughs> so let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. First off, the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus release. The phones support an infinity display. And a little something extra to add to the mix. They only come in one storage model. <laughs> yeah, so suck that in for a second. Okay, now, you read them all down? Guess what? Happy Lady April Fool's Day, everybody. They're all true! <laughs> yeah, so if you folks didn't know, the most recent Samsung Galaxy S8 just released, I think it was this Wednesday or Thursday, it was on March 29th, and boy, did that start turning people's heads. I mean, honestly, the Infinity Display looks amazing. The one complaint I think everyone will probably have with the phone, though, is that the fingerprint sensor is right next to the rear camera sensor. By the way, the rear camera sensor is at 12 megapixels. It stayed the same for the this generation, just like the Samsung Galaxy S7 had and the S7 phones. So, I mean, yeah, that might be the wrong thing because here's the thing, a lot of phones have put their fingerprint sensors on the rear of their phones, like, just name off a few, um, the OnePlus 3T and the, most recently, the Google Pixel and the Google Pixel Plus, um, but they put them below the camera sensor so you don't get that whole smudge city, basically, but Samsung decided to do the initiative and put it right next to the camera. Yeah, I don't think that was the best move. And to be honest, on the front of the phone, it does look brand new, but on the back, it just looks like the S7 with the fingerprint sensor on the back and the new branding. So, yeah, it's kind of the same phone on the back, but on the front, you're going to see way more different specs. I mean, that screen is so beautiful. The Affinity screen, it's amazing. I mean, I thought that, like... Here's the thing, this is really making me conflict whether to get the iPhone 6S Plus or maybe just go for one of these amazing Android phones like the LG G6 or the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus because honestly, these phones look freaking beautiful. <laughs> I'm not kidding, you, you can see how much enthusiasm I'm showing right now. But honestly, it's like it's going to be a tough decision for me when May comes around, but I'm probably going to go with the iPhone because I need to go something Apple. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm going to be stuck with a bunch of bezels when everyone else is going to be a uh, bezel-less on the Android side of the world, but, you know, what does it matter? I mean, Apple's a really reliable company. In fact, I read on the study that one of the most, I think it's the most caregiven or the most um, pleasurable companies out of a survey, Apple's number one, next, that, and they just beat out Disney. 
they beat out Disney. How is that even possible? <laughs> I mean, they rated on a whole five point score. I'm not gonna get too much detail into that. But yeah, that's about it. So yeah, if you folks are still wondering why Saturday I missed the video, it's because, like I just told you, basically, I got too addicted to, to GTA 5 online. I need to limit myself. That's basically what I'm saying. So yeah, don't worry. Videos will be back to regular next week. And um, happy late April Fool's Day. <laughs> Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and do something different, I'm not going to do the whole outro thing. I have my timer set up right here from when I uh, basically start the outro, so 20 seconds starting now. So thank you all for watching. If you want to check out a couple of my most recent videos, they'll be right over here. If you want to uh, subscribe to me, just click, simply click that circular icon, and if you want to check out a video YouTube believes you will enjoy, right down there. And make sure you follow me on, follow me on Snapchat. Snap code should be appearing right there. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, keep it real. Peace. And there's the timer. <laughs>